friends, this is Christina, and today we have a few more Dior goodies. I am so excited to share with you guys. So, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> So I did select two of the new Forever Natural Bronze Glow. Now these are considered bronzer slash blushes, I believe. So I'm really excited about these guys. I have tried one of them and I have to tell you, I'm so impressed. So let me show you the ones I have. So the first one I selected was the Pink Bronze. I thought this one would be a nice one, especially when I'm not as tan. So it's a very light shade, but you can see it pulls warm. And personally for me, because I am warm in tone, I like warm tone bronzers. Now these do have a 24 month shelf life with eight grams of product. So quite a bit actually. And let me just swatch this for you. Well, technically it's gonna be very hard to split them up, honestly but this is the pink swatch, this is the bronzer by itself, and this is it mixed together. So you can see separately, they're nice, but all three together makes a beautiful radiant finish. So we're gonna start with this one. I'm going to use my Sonia G cheek brush, and we're going to just tap here. I mean, I am so impressed with Dior. You know, while their eyeshadows still are what they are, Everything else, they have decided to kick up a notch and make so fantastic. Like the glow is, I don't know, they are bringing it this year. And as you can see, very minimal effort. It really does make the skin look so radiant. And you see, it's totally buildable. So I was trying to build it up a little because you can make this even lighter. And I wanted to pick a light shade and a dark shade because I wanted to see how this would fare on a medium skin tone because I know if the light one I can do, then I know lighter skins can do it. I know that medium to possibly deep can do it. So look at that. And it looks so radiant, so juicy on the cheeks. You can see it kind of gives like a blurring effect to the cheeks like I don't as far as I can see I don't see an emphasis of texture it just looks really healthy very glowy very healthy exactly what they state this is what it's giving and for summertime springtime this is perfect I mean you absolutely could use this any time of the year but since we're getting to that springtime you can see the difference between my sides of my face the one with the glow and the one without like it just gives a nice sun-kissed glowy look to the face and I am just super duper I'm just super duper impressed guys it's one of my absolute favorites from Dior this year so now let's get into the deeper color so the second one I purchased is the peachy glow beautiful in tone but if you can see the two different ones I'll put them side by side you can see the tones are very different you can see this looks very rich warm and brown while this one looks a little more of a lighter warm color this here is the swatch this is the peach color by itself this is the bronzer by itself and this is all together in comparison to the pink bronze it does look richer deeper and more warm in tone so i'll place this on so once again giving a nice warm color to the cheeks and look how light that's just a little bit of of the bronzer but you can see between the cheeks this is pulling more it's definitely pulling darker and what I like about it is I was thinking also one would be more my summer bronzer and one could be more my winter bronzer which I thought this would be more winter and with the pink I just thought the pink went better with the winter and the you know the coral went better with the summer so that's why I kind of selected the way that I did but honestly it's probably very 
very minimal the difference between the two colors so that's that and I'm just gonna build it up a little so people of deeper skin tones can see how deep we can build this up thirty two and fifty one okay cuz there's two of the peach and two of the pink and guys there is a light scent to these kind of reminds me of the J'adore, J'adore scent is what I'm thinking, but it's very light, it's very faint. I love this packaging, by the way. This is giving. I love the white and gold packaging, but I can tell it's going to get very dirty. So I'm definitely going to keep whichever one I'm going to be using right now in the box it came with just for preservation of this beautiful color. Otherwise, it's going to be a total dirty mess. But anyway, guys, since this is technically not a bronzer specifically, I don't have any other type of bronzers that have a multiple of colors to compare to. I mean, I can compare these to other type of bronzers. So for one, I'll give you the YSL, one of my newer ones. And let me place it alongside here just for comparison so you can see what it looks like against true bronzers. So... This is it mixed together and this is the YSL so you know the YSL takes some building it's a very light powder so that is the YSL here favorite Hermes bronzer which is hanging on by thread I'm looking for a place to buy a refill but it looks like it may just be the Hermes website and I'm gonna place it down below so right here so Hermes bronzer this is the pink 32 glow and then the YSL bronzer in Buff Doom. They definitely resonate with more color clearly because it's supposed to be a dual purpose product with blush and bronzer. So a cool thing I've actually done with these is use them as eyeshadows. I know. So I'm going to show you what I actually did yesterday. My daughter and I were running around just a little in the morning and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time to get ready. And so I just popped this. And usually I'll use a bigger fluffy brush for this, but I will get that momentarily. So here's my bigger fluffy brush. What I love though is it has this beautiful gold sheen here. It's so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So it looks like it does have fine micro like particles, but it doesn't look like glitter on the actual skin. It is so pretty. And then I use this to deepen it up. It's like you have a three in one situation here. I have a bronzer, a blush, and technically two eyeshadows because I use the all around the all over dusting it through and through and dust it on the whole eye and then I use just the bronzing um, color and I pack it on the outer and that way it gives it a little more depth now I'm gonna just kind of clean this out this is a brush with nothing on it so I'm just gonna Make this more seamless. Guys, if you hear the rain, that's because there are, it's raining in California. Once again, it's raining. I didn't even see this on the forecast, but here it is. And then what I also have liked to do is use the Rivage palette from Chanel. Yes, I heard it is actually coming to some of the department stores. So sometimes when things come out, and I'm at work I can't get to it right away guys I have to wait 
So if you are interested in this palette, I will absolutely try to keep my ear to the ground and post on the community tab if I see it somewhere. There are so many luxury beauty content creators, which I'm sure um, you follow more than just me, and they have been doing an excellent job of being able to post it. Most of them, and many of them, um, this is like one of their maybe full-time jobs or they have a job where they they work from home sometimes so they can just post things as they need to. I unfortunately don't have that luxury. So I do work Monday through Friday and some weekends. So I do my best when things first pop up to list when they're there. I'm not really good at doing the restocks of things because I just have other things I have to focus on, like doing new content, um, just other things. So I've been liking to mix these two together for Inner Corner Pop. I love these two. These two colors are probably my favorite. I am going to do another look with the Revage palette. I want to do um, one dedicated to just a fun look that Chanel actually had on their website. And I don't know if you can see guys, but I have made a nice little dent in this here shade. I told you this was gonna be the one I'm gonna hit pan on first. Like there's no doubt about that. But this is such a beautiful palette. I can't wait to see what um, the reformulation of Chanel's eyeshadows are gonna look like. Gosh, I just pray it's not like Dior's reformulation of eyeshadows because that would be god awful because like Chanel's new blushes ugh, the reformulation is terrible so I'm hoping also it's not like that but hopefully they've been hearing our cries in the beauty in the luxury beauty world that we don't like it we don't like what they did and they won't make the same mistake twice okay darlings I'm gonna put on lashes and we will go over my final thoughts on this. Okay, BRB. Okay, darlings. So what do I think of the Christian Dior Natural Bronze Glow? Well, I think they're fabulous. I really do. I think they are gorgeous. I think the finish is gorgeous. I think that it is a beautiful one and done kind of product and not even one and done. Like you saw how I did my eyeshadow. This is a very easy way to create a 10 minute look. Like if you are going to work or you're going somewhere quick, you know, it's summertime, you want to wear less makeup. This makes it so easy to not have to utilize more than one product for multiple things. And guys, I did wear this for quite a while the other day and it was beautiful, quite lovely. And I have to say the only fallback with this is that it is limited edition. I think this is a product that Dior needs to keep in their repertoire. It needs to be part of their line because it's just that great of a product. The powder is nice. The glow is beautiful and it will blend with so many different skin tones. And you can see on me, this definitely pulls darker, but that's great because you can build this up quite a bit. If I wanted to make this more calm, I could have. I would have just dabbed it. I just would have done a few swipes, but I did many to show how built up it really could be. And just imagine some with the deeper skin tone, how gorgeous this would be. For me right now with my skin color, I don't think this is like the color I would typically use um, right now. But when I start getting that tan in the summertime, this is going to be such a gorgeous color and even if you aren't tan you can utilize these because are the darker colors because they're still so beautifully crafted that it's a formula you can build up so if you did want just a touch darker than the oh you know the lighter colors you could because this one you'd have to build up a little bit more if you want to get the same type of intensity and you won't even get the same intensity but what i'm saying is you really could go with either i think but if you lean very fair i think you should stay in this area the in the lighter pink and lighter coral whereas if you're medium to tan i'd say this one will be light to medium medium to tan um, I think lights could get away with this, but only if you are someone who tans very much in the summertime. 
Otherwise, I think this would be quite enough glow for you. What do you guys think? Are you guys interested in these Dior Forever Glow bronzers? Um, have you picked any up and what are your experiences with them? I'm very curious to know what you guys think of the Dior launches. They are killing it this year. Truly, it's only March and they have come out with some fantastic products that I feel like are going to be holy grails in my book. Thank goodness the that the Forever Star Glow Filter is not a limited edition. This is part of their line. I have this on right now and I use it almost daily. I love, love, love this here Star Glow. The maximizers are unfortunately limited edition as are the Forever Glow um, bronzers. So I would say if you're interested in these, you know, they may be around for a little bit. Sometimes the um, special editions hang around for a few months until they run out of inventory. Um, that happens very often, but I would say if you're budgeted for it and it's something you're interested in, I would absolutely jump on it because as you can see, it is quite gorgeous. And I think, you know, if you just get one of them, one of your favorite colors, I think that's more than enough in either the darker or the lighter tone. Okay, darling, so I am doing a giveaway. I have the J'adore hand cream. I figured not making it a makeup item would just benefit everybody versus like certain colors are better for certain skin tones. I thought who doesn't want a beautiful hand cream? Now this is the new J'adore um, Le Balm that Christian Dior came out with. This is beautiful. It actually has a gold little marking here as opposed to the black. So I did purchase this when I purchased the bronzers for a subscriber um, to win this. So how this is going to work. I want you to just leave me a comment down below. Doesn't matter what it's about. I don't need you to share it. I don't need you to go to my Instagram. This is not that kind of giveaway. I really just want to thank my subscribers who are currently here, who are supporting my channel and have brought me to this point. I thank you so very much. Now due to um, customs and different things. Unfortunately, I have to limit this to the US. To my international subscribers, I thank you so much and no, I am, will be working on the next um, level I hit for a um, giveaway. I will work on how to get a gift out to you guys as well, perhaps just directly from the site. Um, but right now it'll just be limited to the US. What you do is type a comment down below. I will put your name in a hat totally old school. I'm going to film it when I do it too. And then I'll upload it to YouTube for everyone to see, but I will pull your name out of a hat. I will say who it is and I will message you directly via, you can actually, you know, I will give you my email or you can actually um, go to my Instagram and give me your, your address, however is most comfortable for you, but that's how we're going to do this. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much. I will probably put this video up next, sorry, I will put this video up this coming Thursday, this coming Wednesday, Thursday max, and I will leave it open, the door open for comments on this video from my subscribers, have to be subscribed, um, until the 31st of March. And then by the third, I will announce the winner. So I thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great day, a wonderful week. And if you've gotten this far, I know you are a real one. And I appreciate you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Darlings, I hope you have a great day, a wonderful week, and I will catch you in the next one.